So uh, I have a, a new book coming out um, in September 2016 uh, called The Madhouse Effect. Um, and it is about the issue of climate change, uh, but uh, uh, the story is told in a slightly different way. Um, uh, I've used cartoons uh, along with my co-author Tom Tolles, who is the editorial cartoonist for the Washington Post. Um, and Tom has editorialized about climate change for years, about climate change and about uh, the hypocrisy and absurdity of climate change denial um, in the US and the United States and elsewhere. And so we decided to join forces and use the cartoons that Tom has done over the years, along with some new cartoons that we've done exclusively for the book, to tell the whole story about climate change, uh, to talk about, first of all, science. How does science work? And how can we distinguish a true skepticism, which is a good thing in science, from the sort of pseudo-skepticism uh, that uh, sometimes passes for skepticism in the world of climate change denial. Um, then we talk about the evidence, uh, how widespread and fundamental the evidence is uh, for human-caused climate change. And we talk about the impacts, uh, impacts that we're already seeing and the sorts of impacts that we will see in the future if we continue on the course that we're on. Um, and of course, the politics. Um, the politics uh, behind climate change denial and how it is that despite the overwhelming scientific consensus behind human-caused climate change, uh, there are still prominent politicians and prominent members of our media who do not accept that climate change is real, who continue to argue that it's a hoax. Um, and so we try to uh, expose the irony and hypocrisy behind modern-day climate change denialism. Um, we talk about uh, some of the uh, sort of scary alternatives that have been uh, promoted by contrarians in the climate change debate, um, so-called geoengineering, uh, uh, various schemes that some advocates argue for, for offsetting global warming by interfering with the global Earth system in some other way. For example, shooting particles up into the stratosphere to try to block out some sunlight. Um, and when you look at these geoengineering schemes in detail, uh, the principle of unintended consequences uh, really rears its head. Um, what you find is that there are all sorts of bad things that might happen um, if we engage in these uh, monumental, these elaborate global engineering schemes, these untested uh, schemes to perturb our climate uh, even further. Uh, ultimately, um, that leads us to the only true solution which is to reduce our carbon emissions. And despite uh, some of the you know, denialism that still exists and uh, the inaction that we still see in certain quarters, including um, uh, the US Congress, uh, which is still opposed to doing anything about the issue of climate change, uh, we sort of describe the path forward and some of the reasons for cautious optimism that we are indeed uh, turning the corner and that uh, there is ultimately a, a solution um, to the climate change crisis uh, that uh, potentially lies ahead, that it is still possible to stabilize uh, the warming of the globe below truly dangerous levels. So we sort of end things on an optimistic uh, note, um, but I think what's unique about the book is using satire and comedy and irony and the exposing of hypocrisy to talk about this issue, talk about climate change in a different way. And uh, we hope that people will both find it entertaining and informative.